What is it that sets one individual apart from another? Is it their character, their honesty, their knowledge or their behavior? Or does the society we live in value money and power above all else? These questions may seem simple on the surface, but delve a little deeper and you'll find that they're anything but. On one hand, we have character traits like honesty, kindness and integrity. These are the values that define us as human beings, the qualities that shape our actions and our interactions with others. They shape our personal growth, guiding us through life's many challenges. They are the silent markers of our identity, the unseen forces that determine our place in the world. But on the other hand, there's money and power. In a world often driven by materialism and status, these two elements can often seem like the ultimate markers of success. They offer convenience, comfort, and in many cases, command respect. They can open doors that might otherwise remain closed, and they can provide opportunities that might otherwise remain out of reach. There's no denying that money and power hold a certain allure. The ability to influence, to shape, to control, it's a seductive proposition, but it's also a double-edged sword. It can lead to corruption, to greed, and to a loss of self. It can create a world where the value of a person is determined not by who they are, but by what they have. So where does this leave us? Is it better to be rich and powerful or to be kind and honest? The answer, as with most things in life, is not so black and white. It's a delicate balance, a constant juggling act between who we are and who we want to be, between what we have and what we value. In conclusion, both character traits and money and power have their own unique importance. Character traits like honesty, kindness and integrity define us as individuals, guiding our actions and shaping our personal growth. They're the unseen forces that determine our place in the world. Meanwhile, money and power can open doors, providing opportunities that might otherwise remain out of reach. But they can also lead to corruption, greed and a loss of self. The key is to strike a balance, to recognize the value of both, and to strive for a world where one does not overshadow the other. Remember, it's not about choosing between character and wealth, but rather about integrating the two in a way that allows for personal growth and societal betterment. The true measure of an individual lies not in their wealth or power, but in their ability to use these resources to uplift themselves and others all the while maintaining their integrity and staying true to their values? Find that balance and you'll find the answer to what truly sets an individual apart.